Hi there, I'm Ben, back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 gold medal guide. This time we're doing the mission, the sheep and the goats. Thankfully, this mission is a bit more forgiving than the previous mission. To get gold, you need to complete the following objectives in a single playthrough of the mission. Herd all of the sheep into the pen in Valentine, get 25 headshots, complete with at least 70% accuracy, and complete the mission without taking any health items. As always, the objectives will be in the description below with timestamps if you wish to skip ahead. The two easiest objectives here are to complete without taking any health items and herd all of the sheep. Obviously don't take any items that restore health and you'll be fine with that one. Taking items that restore dead eye is fine. Next, herding the sheep. The only way you can mess this up is if you were to accidentally shoot one while you're trying to scare the ranch hands away. Just be sure to keep an eye out for stragglers when taking the herd back to Valentine. Nobody attacks you during this section. Right, I'm going to leave it here and start the commentary again after the obligatory herding section, just before the shootout starts. Word you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. We ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. There. The gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Now are you. Worse than better, I tell you. Okay, boy. I know you. You're trouble. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Slow up! Let's head up to the ridge up there! Get a proper view!
So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the... <laughs> well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. Give me a message. That ought to do it. All right. Let's go round them up. Okay, boy. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? No, oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Easy now. Pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. <laughs> Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Go, go! Close her up, boys. 
There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Come on, boy. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Sunshine, I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Vanderlyn! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall! I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting scum like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? This is quite a long shootout and we need to get 25 headshots while keeping a 70% accuracy rating. You start off with a forced dead eye section that is good for 5 easy headshots, just 20 to go. Thankfully near the end of this fight enemies keep spawning once the others have ridden off. You will lose honour for every kill you get during the last section, so go and do some catch and release fishing to make up for it afterwards.
us. Now we'll push the wagon. Arthur, shoot! As you can see, I'm making a bit of a mess of the first part, so you'll get away with missing quite a few shots. You can miss 3 out of every 10, obviously. Just stick behind the wagon as you move down the main street, moving from left to right, killing enemies. Use Deadeye as much as you can to secure those headshots and keep your accuracy up. Deadeye is not essential, but it does help. Never again. Sure, nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Once Strauss gets shot and you put him on the back of John's horse, everybody else will ride off. This is the point where you can stick around and improve your accuracy and get some headshots as the enemies keep spawning. Remember you will start to lose honour eventually, so don't stick around for too long. Once you think you have enough, get on your horse and ride into the sunset. The mission will finish once you have lost your wanted level. Right, I hope this video has helped, I'm going to leave it here. Like and subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.